So, the royal family looks like it's on high water. Uh, for apparent reason, Oprah Weasley, she, she decided to make an interview between Meghan and Harry. And I didn't saw like the interview yet, because I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't give a fuck about this couple. I, I don't I don't even care about the royal family, about their fucking dramas. They're not my family. I don't care, okay? I don't give a shit about their fucking dramas. If you care, I, I don't care. But this looks like a big fucking big brother, you know? Basically, Meg and Harry is gonna be like the future Kardashians, you know? <laughs> you know, the Kardashians that they mixed up with the Jenners, and then suddenly Br Bruce Jenner become I don't know what uh, well, I, I don't know what she had become. But I, I, don't, I forgot her name. No, she's now a woman. You know, same fate that's gonna suffer between Meghan and Harry. In the future, I believe they're gonna start their own reality show after they're gonna leave the you know the royal the royal family. <laughs> uh, mark my words, this this can actually happen. This, this can actually happen. I 100% sure they. They gonna they gonna start getting out of the public, you know. The uh, they gonna start getting out of the of the radar. That very soon, you know, they gonna start like the, their ultimate card trick is gonna be like the like the Kardashians show, you know. Like they, they there's gonna be a very huge crew production, you know, that gonna film their own lifestyle, you know, and all that stuff. <laughs> it is is just abysmal, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so I get right here the video that uh, is just a small video from CBC um, where Oprah she interviews about Harry. I know this is this drama is happening, you know, like the Queen is getting cancelled and all that stuff. I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know why. I have no idea why. So I'm gonna figure it out. And maybe we're gonna figure out together what the hell is happening right now. The sad irony of the last four years is I've advocated for so long for women to use their voice. And then I was silent. Um, were you silent? You were silent because you're not the queen, okay? You just, a, you, you know, you just a duquesse, you know? You're not a queen, you're not a princess yet, you know. <laughs> I mean, to ha in order to have a voice, you have to press through, like, I don't know, the Prince Charles, who got coronavirus, and even coronavirus could kill him. Jesus Christ. What, what kind, not even Prince Harry has a voice, okay? Not even the Prince Charles has a voice, okay? Only, only the queen has a voice. What are you talking about? Of course you don't have a voice. Jesus, hell! I mean, can you imagine if, if even if some some civilian is gonna go like to the you uh, to to the White House, he's gonna go to the fucking jail. What are you talking about? Jesus! Or were you silenced? The latter. The la <laughs> the latter. Of course, of course, of course, gonna be. Listen, you are both silented. You, you, of course, you both are silented. I, I, I never saw Prince Charles be like, I wanna raise my voice to my mother, to my 100-year-old mother, who survived Kennedys and Nixons and maybe, maybe Hitler. Jesus Christ, Christ, this. You, uh, you wanna pass through the the mortal family? Are you kidding me? My God! View comes amid mounting friction between Buckingham Palace and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The couple made the decision to leave the UK and their official royal roles nearly two years. I mean, I, 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 I there's something that I'm gonna give some credibility to Meghan Markle, okay? Unless she won a lottery, okay? Hell. She's married to, like, a royal family. Like, unless she married, that's something good, okay? She, uh, her grandmother or grand-grandmother, I, I, I don't even know uh, what is the lineage of the royal family from Britain, but 
unless they allow you to marry and have kids, okay? Now, if you wanna, like, become a queen, keep dreaming, okay? Prince Charles keeps dreaming as well. <laughs> and I just go want going to remind you that Prince Charles is not young, okay? He's about to... He, he's about to go to his coffin at any time soon. Jesus Christ. Years ago, in the interview, Meghan described what life was like for her in the royal family. She said when she was pregnant, palace officials spoke to the couple about the upcoming birth of their son, Archie. The conversation of, he won't be given security, he's not going to be given a title. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born well of course of, of course they're gonna ask what i mean what else do you expect you marry a white family <laughs> nah nah that is that is too much <laughs> i mean what else did you expect it from a royal family like a guns and roses <laughs> jesus christ megan wait wake the fuck up what else did you expect it? Imagine, imagine me, I'm going to Japan and suddenly I'm gonna like marry some of the princes of, of the royal family of Japan. They're gonna kick me out! With her own daughter of the family, royal family! What else did you expecting? <laughs> they, they're gonna probably be like, No! We don't, we, we don't want our own... <laughs> no, we don't want our mixed blood! Get out of the my family! <laughs> is that is that is that racist? Is, is, is that racist? Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so I not monetize it. My channel is not monetized yet, so I don't give a fuck. Cancel me! Cancel me! Cancel me! I'm a small channel. You can cancel me, whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> scrutiny and life within the royal family made her miserable and lonely. She says at her lowest point, she thought about committing suicide. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. Before Listen. Maybe, just maybe, I don't trust anyone anymore, okay? I mean, everybody can lie, Every these famous people, they can lie on social media, you know, on the news interview, they can lie on absolutely everything, okay? So, I, I'm gonna be very skeptical on all that stuff, okay? I, I'm, I, I, I know, you know, I know people are... Keep being depressed, it, it is quite fucked up, okay? It is indeed fucked up, you know? Being abused morally, it, it this is all fucked up. But I'm gonna get very, very skeptical on this situation, okay? Because I learned a lot when, you know, am, uh, with all the this Amber Heard situation and Johnny Depp, okay? I was uh, really skeptical on that and I was waiting for the final rant, okay? Uh, about the, their cases. Now, between Harry and Meghan, you know, okay, sure, they, they can still together, I don't give a fuck, you know, they're not my family, but I think maybe she's telling the truth, or maybe she's a manipulator, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, they, you know, people nowadays, you cannot trust anymore, you know, you never know what they get, you know, have you seen, if someone out there, if who's watching my video right now, have you seen the John Swan situation between John Swan and Dream, you know, that involves, that involved Nicholas Diorio, that dude, you know, from another YouTube channel, who is a friend with John Swan, yeah, that happened, and looks like John Swan was impersonating, like, Dream, and it, like, John Swan's just starting lying a lot. Everybody interviewed him. He's starting lying and constantly lying, and suddenly the the truth came out. Looks like John Swan was actually lied all along. <laughs> My God, you can you can't trust media anymore. You know you can't trust 
anyone anymore nowadays. You can you can you can tell a you can tell any kind of lie, you know. If people gonna believe it, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> My God. Last week, the British newspaper The Times ran a report where sources claim she treated some of her staff so badly that they quit. The palace, which normally is silent on anything published in the papers, said it was concerned about the allegations and would investigate, which it... I mean, uh, Meghan Markle cannot do absolutely anything because the Queen can absolutely kill someone and she can... she gonna get away with it because... In the UK, she she cannot give she cannot go to the prison. <laughs> I'm I'm not joking. The Queen King slaughtered so many people. She gonna get away with it <laughs> because she's the Queen of the England. <laughs> Notably, did not do over Prince Andrew's sexual abuse allegations. Not only was I not being protected, but that they were willing to lie. To protect other members of the family, but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband. I don't know. I'm I'm not buying this. I I don't know. Maybe she wants some attention. Maybe it's truth. I don't know. I again again. I'm gonna say that again. Okay. I don't believe in absolutely anyone. Okay. <sighs> I think I think everything started with. That documentary, uh, documentary like *Living Neverland*. You know that some pe some uh, sexual abusers was accusing Michael Jackson, who was dead like ten years ago. My God, for sexual abuse. I mean, what are they gonna do? Pick up the body, the body, the body of the dead. But <laughs> we're gonna pick up the dead body of Michael Jackson, put him on the prison. Come on. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? What the, what did they did, what? I'm, wait, wait a minute. Where sources claim she treated some of her staff so badly that they quit. The palace, which normally is silent on anything published in the papers, said it was concerned about the allegations and would investigate, which it notably did not do over Prince Andrew's sexual abuse allegations. Not only was I not being protected, but, but that they, they were willing to lie to protect other members of the family, but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband. CBS reportedly paid at least seven million dollars to air the interview, which hit prime time in North America just hours after the Queen. They paid seven million dollars to air. Who they paid for? Who's who CBS paid for? To them or to UK? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that that's a fucking big huge mo huge ass money. Oh she's holy shit. Seven millions? Hell yeah! If someone gonna pay me seven millions, Jesus Christ, I will live like a king. Holy shit. Now the real question is who they pay for for the who they paid for? CBS? Who CBS paid for? I am very curious to know about this. His own message. Looking forward, relationships with others across the Commonwealth will remain important. In that broadcast, there was no hint of the rift or some of the dark revelations made. I mean, I I don't know. I don't know. Ma Meghan Markle want to raise a voice against like someone who lived already like. 20 lives ahead of her. <laughs> uh, oh my god. In, in fact, one f one curious thing, I never saw like the queen raising a voice. I I never saw it. I never I never saw that. I never saw that. I I only see like that that where who's that guy who, that blonde guy uh from the Brazic uh Boris Johnson, there he goes. I only hear Boris Johnson, you know, being constantly uh, on the social media radar, you know. I never seen like the royal family being like that exposed, like <laughs> this. 
<laughs> Only Meghan Markle to make this story! <laughs> uh, oh my god. Ah, uh, my god. This is... This is... This is too much. Ah, uh, we beginning... We begin with 2020 like gold, you know? <laughs> The coronavirus stay in 2020, and it has a sequel in 2021. Uh, thankfully, it's finishing. Now, it's coming the second problem. Uh, oh, snap. This is gonna be to my... This is gonna go to my... Drama compilation. Uh, uh, let's get out of here. We're done here. We're done. The show, the show, it's over. Good night. See you tomorrow.